kind of like, there's enough people here, and if there was anything going on, they probably wouldn't leave in the same numbers. It's just that it's almost like no one's kind of thought, okay, I'm going to actually make something happen. You don't see a lot of spontaneous sort of activities happen, like like art performances or whatever, where in Melbourne or city you might get that. And I think that's an inherent cultural aspect. Uh, Adelaide is a conservative city. Change takes a very long time. We've often had issues with uh, younger South Australians leaving the state. Uh, like, the closest I've come is a couple of years ago when everybody, literally like half of my social group, like two, 15 people all moved in the space of like three months. It's just like watching all these people leave thinking, you know, why am I still here? There's nothing going on here. Yeah, do you stay here and, and forge ahead or do you leave and go and live in Melbourne? And for me, I'd, I'd rather stay here and forge ahead. If you want to stay here and make a difference, it's quite easy to see the difference that you're making. It is a tangible thing. Once you see other people do things and once you see more artists run initiatives in your own community, um, that kicks off a whole lot of other stuff. We started the things that became format uh, a couple of years ago as a way of getting all the people we thought were interested in that, that sort of notion of DIY together in one place at one time. All the people involved with it kind of said, well, we want to keep going. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to take it from being a, a, a festival to being an ongoing program of events. Um, Tipsense is a group of probably, I think it's three, five and six core were, um, artists. We all kind of wanted to show work, but uh, really had nowhere to show it, no one to show with, and just kind of decided to do exhibitions together. I was looking for a group of artists that I could um, work together with and sort of, and not, not just as far as the work goes, but just personally to have other artists to know because I hadn't gone to art school. I didn't know, didn't have a group of people who I could sort of bounce ideas off and whatnot. So, um, and they, and what I liked about it is that they were into taking it professionally. They wanted to, um, they were serious about it. I think initially it was very much that sense of like that 100 punks theory that you get 100 people and 100 people is, 100, 150 people is what makes the community. Like 100 people actively engaged gets a lot done. And I think we still do events based around that, where you're not trying to get a large group of people, you're trying to get the right group of people. It's been a good mix with the two groups working together because you get a bit of that kind of art school thing, you get a bit of like, I guess like the rawness of what Format does. And it's also, I guess, the intention of Format to get critical mass, so it's important to have a whole lot of groups working together to bring different people in. Emerge Magazine as well, I think they the same idea that Adelaide should get a bit more critical mass and stop being such a grovelly nerd of a city. That's the reason why we started the magazine, because of the talent and the strength of the talent. It's big enough for there to be an audience, um, but it's small enough for everyone to, to work together and not to be this sort of counterproductive struggle where everyone's sort of trying to fight each other off. I have a really good circle of people that are friends as well as creative people I work with. And I think that's a big thing in Adelaide. People get together in groups and they're really supportive of each other. Because if you don't do that, I guess, you know, you piss a few people off. They know everyone. <laughs> like I look at smaller cities, like, I mean, the classic example is, is Portland in the US. It, it, it seems succeeds by the fact it's so small. In a small city, you do really have to know, like, say in advertising, there's not that many big advertising agencies. So you have to be, get in and be friendly with like the big ones as soon as you can. And, SA Great's all about uh, promoting business and industry in South Australia. It's uh, a media organisation, so we've got a lot of the media on board. We saw lots of people basically wandering around in these t-shirts with the map of South Australia and heaps good and, you know, everybody loved them and it started to really gain momentum. So we approached the Scream Dance guys uh, and uh, basically have used their brand uh, on one of our campaigns. We sold them the right to use it on their website and we still have 100% t-shirt sales rights. A lot of people sort of think it comes from this big, like it came from an advertising campaign, which I get offended, but then it's kind of nice to have that. It's almost a compliment that people think that it was so planned. There was a bit of a lack of, of online information on what to do in South Australia. So we saw it as a great opportunity to uh, release Heaps Good SA, the website. And this is a, basically a portal, sort of a website, where people can go on and rate places, rate events. 
uh, find out what to do on the weekend. Adelaide on the surface looks fairly simple, but there's a whole lot of complicated, in interconnected sort of systems going within the pop population. What the government's saying is they want more population. I think this will really help the city centre um, a, a attraction, particularly to the younger generations. Adelaide, yeah, it's interesting. It's, it is a very, you have to get involved in things to know that they're on, I think. One of the things that came out of Format was that people wanted a permanent physical space. We recognised that we couldn't get a physical space without a track record. Uh, so we've just started trying to run one without really having the budget for it. We'll run it for two weeks. Hopefully it'll be successful enough. We'll both get the track record, but also probably get enough other people interested that uh, we can keep it stocked so we can keep getting more stuff and we can maybe get some more people who are willing to put up their hands for sort of volunteering and, and helping actually run it. It's been really valuable um, for me meeting um, Bridget Noon from Felt has been so good for just for like person to person advice, like things like just explaining the basics of I guess like management and then how she runs events and experiences she's had and people she's worked with. I'd like to think that what we're doing is training people five, ten years younger than me to do, like to keep building up, making it maybe a bit easier for them. I'd also like to, and this is why we're doing the work down in McLaren Vale, like to find the people who are 10, 15, 20 years ahead of me and kind of show people that there is other ways of doing things and other skills. We're going to do something during the Fringe next year and then something in June next year, Vital Statistics in Port Adelaide and having those events being planned a whole year in advance and actually trusting the people who I'm working with that those things will actually happen has made me want to stay in Adelaide because I feel like we're on a trajectory. It's, it's easier to live here than in Melbourne, it's definitely easier to live here than in Sydney, yeah, probably even easier to live here than in Brisbane. It's a blank canvas, we can make it whatever we want whereas somewhere like Melbourne um, it's well established and to go there you'd be you know, it's, there's so much that's already been said and so much that's uh, been done there, you, it's hard to find space, whereas it's very easy to find space here. It's not like in Melbourne where there's already shitloads of things happening. Like you go to those other cities and there's, there's loads and loads of stuff happening and you, you're know, just another random person. What happens in Melbourne or Sydney or Brisbane may not happen here, but the principles why those things happen will apply to any city. You actually have a chance to to meet a bunch of other people and get that, that strong sense of kind of cohesive community. And I guess that's kind of tempting to see if that can be done.